<laughs> Who is going to win? I'm the winner. Oh? I give you the praise. Oh? You just coming from my hands. What's the word? That's okay. We are going to see the winner. See the winner. I'm grateful for your love. I give you the praise. Ah, it's like what's going on with us? No, no, no. Oh, yeah, stop. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you done too much. Ah, what's going on with us? She's even better. Yeah? <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> Amen. God bless you all. Amen. <laughs> God bless you all, my blessed family out there. Hey, it's so great to come across your way again. We thank you for another, thanking God for another beautiful day as such as He has made. I remain your host, Reverend Dorothy Abeyua Hawodei, ministry all the way from Milano, Italy. You are welcome again on board on concerning the mat, uh, matter on ground, family matters. Family matter. You see, I'm gasping for breath because we just danced. <laughs> In fact, we started dancing before you actually started washing us. And you're going to see the reason for that later. We are enjoying life over here. To so God with the glory, thank you for always being on board to be part of this uh, family matter, what God is doing over here. And thank you for your thumbs up. Thank you for your comments. Thank you for sharing our videos. God bless you, Regu. Thank you. And to those of you that have not subscribed, please, this is another great opportunity. Okay? Please just, you know, that subscription button, please just hit it. You know, it is not difficult at all. It's normally, in case you have not subscribed, it's normally written red in your section. When you are watching it on YouTube, please just hit it for us and God will bless you and you will not regret being a part of us because every Saturday you are sure of new things coming your way and that's to do things that has, will help you in your life. We don't just make videos to while away your time, but we make videos that will change lives, that will affect destinies and even generations that are born to come. That our videos, when they are to shoot later, they shoot later on or show it to them later on. Indeed, when they watch it, they will learn one or two things. And to those that have been watching our videos, they will testify to this. I remember God helping me, as most of you already know. I know I'm not only a presenter, I'm also a pastor to the glory of God. I remember going to some places for ministration and they will always say family matters, I'm watching you. I enjoy your program. I enjoy your program, carry on. And so I want to say thank you for those of you that have been part of us every time. And so, so thank you very much our returning subscribers. I will not just be so much in this to push you aside because you are the reason, uh, what will I say, it? you are our encourager. You are the forward that keeps us on our path from the glory of God because if you are not here every Saturday to be part of us, the video will be useless. And thank you for being part of us, making us to know there are people out here that believe in us. God bless you, very good in Jesus' name. And so as I was saying, in case you are not subscribed, please do so. So as to encourage us and also to be, to show that you are part of this family and to get new updates each time we upload new videos. And so today it is another exciting topic. That is why you see her dancing. Not that alone with the kids. <laughs> we just decided to dance. Well, because you know what God has done in my life to the uh, as a result of these children coming into my life, my life and that of my spouse, my husband. So you're going to be hearing the full details later. Thank you. But before I go ahead, I want to introduce our special guest on board today. <laughs> I call them special guests or what do you think? Maybe they are special guests. After all, it's not only adults that are special guests. Even when a little bit, baby can be a special guest. <laughs> I've been in the host. Any other person that come along this journey and the studio here yeah, is turned as a special guest. So make welcome with me this evening two special guests in the studio today. And the first one is Miss Possible Awodeyi. God bless you. Possible, can you say hi to our family? Hi. How are you? Fine. 
Are you happy to be here? Yeah. Say welcome to Family Matters. Mm -hmm. Yeah, tell them welcome to Family Matters. Welcome to Family Matters. How old are you? Six. Yeah, six years old. Okay, that's possible for you. Possible, I would be you. And uh, God helping us, we're having enough time. You are going to be knowing the reason why she was giving that name. Possible, I would be you. And why they are, she is here in the studio with us. And also, we just looked at the person at my, uh, you know, left hand side. We have seen another special guest at by my right hand side. And who is that? You're welcome on board. God bless you. What is your name? My name is Tapa Yeah, Top Awudeyi. You know, a strong form of what? Treasure. Treasure you Are you happy to be here? Yes. Can you say hi to our family at the? Hi. Okay, greet them, ask them uh, how are they doing? Hi, how, how are you doing? Okay, they have answered. Well, answer, I will answer for them on their behalf. They say they are fine, Miss Talk. <laughs> <laughs> so, how old are you? I'm nine years old. Okay, well, Miss Talk, how old are you? And Miss Treasure, how old are you? She's nine years old, going to ten. Are you happy to be in the studio today? Yes, very happy. Okay, I like that. I said, very happy. God bless you all. Amen. Hallelujah. You see, it is a nice thing that by the grace of God, I always bring people outside to become part of the family matter. And once in a while, I think, what? I think only once I brought my son, our headed son, uh, Joshua. I would be in, which is 20. You know, that will be 20. Uh, tomorrow, he will be 20. Tomorrow, 10th of April, he will be 20. So, with some of you, uh, most of you that are uh, watching us for a while, now you could remember the video we made that I made with him talking about the beautiful lifestyle and you know, that is recommendable unto God. How we can help our youth today. Remember vividly where well. I think that was last year yes i remember last year and it's outside joshua these are the younger sisters of joshua these are my children to so god be the glory amen so apart from bringing people outside there i just said okay by the inspiration of the holy ghost and say okay let me still speak from my own family also so that you know what is happening in my own family so that i do not just be you know i'm just teaching uh people might be wondering and say what is is she really a doer of what she's teaching, you know? He, most of the times I come on board and advise us, counsel us. These are our families, we go and everything. So I say, okay, let me bring out my so that we can see. We might not be perfect, but to some extent, you can see we are doer of what we are teaching. And by your help, also by your prayers. So God bless you. Amen. Hallelujah. And so the, this two... Uh, uh, ladies, or what we call it, these two sisters this evening, they are very unique to our program. You know, more consigned to this show. And so, what is the topic today? The topic on grand today has to do with how to undo, or rather, how to deal with unwanted pregnancy. How to deal with an unwanted pregnancy. You know, are you a lady there hearing me? Not all the ladies, even the guys, the men in the house, are you there how to hear me? I believe strongly that this video is coming because of you, one way or the other. Or you know, you might need it now, you might know it that might be later on, or you might know somebody that needs it. So my concern to you is that as you hear us this day, please endeavor to share it with somebody that needs it, at least to encourage somebody out there to save life, to give hope to somebody you know i have done this what i've been doing this evening i have done it again and again to people and uh they let her run that moment it was tough on them but thank god they listened to cancer and they let her run after years they let her run of course to come back and say mommy thank you mama thank you i am grateful that i gave heed to your cancer thank god that i am where i am today so thank god that this child is alive today so back to what I was saying, how to deal with an unwanted pregnancy. You see, every child is a gift from God. Every child is a gift from God, whether wanted or not wanted. When I mean by wanted or not wanted, whether planned for, prepared for, or not prepared for, it is a gift from God. And because it's a gift from God, I think it's a thing we should welcome and rejoice over. Of, uh, but unfortunately, it's not always like that. And I'm not here to judge or blame anybody. I was once in that tree. 
you know it is not that easy it's easier said than done you know facing a situation or having a pregnancy you were not prepared for you didn't plan to have this has to do with both married and unmarried let's not just tag it to your married maybe because they are not married that is why she got pregnant and so she, she don't want to pretend as if pregnant out of wedlock so it might opt for abduction no it's not only unmarried unmarried wounds even the married ones yes i have seen issues like that whereby they are married because the pregnancy came unplanned for unwanted so that says so unwanted that even though the wife was intended the woman in question was intended to keep the baby but the husband fought against it and said no this baby must be get getting rid of or even not you know and it has to be fought out so when i'm talking this evening it has to do with both the married and unmarried so how do we handle such situation when you find yourself in such a crossroad you know it is not a, an easy road to be at all because it can be so challenging because why am i trying to talk this way i want to be real if you have been following me for a while i will always say i want to say it as it is i don't like it, you know manipulating or covering not just because it's a video so that you know to make you feel happy no i want to be real i want to say it as it is so that you can you know you can know that i feel your pains and you can flow along you can learn many things and again if you can know that if others have escaped through and they succeeded you as well will succeed and that is the strength i came to release unto you today in jesus name receive the strength that will back you up in that journey of the pregnancy in the name of jesus amen so am i here now to or even when you are not married and you see yourself being pregnant not planned for i my encouragement to you is that abortion is not an option please in case you are giving me a thought don't just go there so am i here now to, to know by supporting and say okay if you are not married you can just be jumping from bed to bed uh, it doesn't mean no that is what what i um, you know encouraging no let's put ourselves in a situation whereby it has happened if you didn't plan for it it has happened that is where i am actually aiming to this evening whether I'm married or married, you didn't plan for it, but it has happened. That is where I am aiming to. So what do we do now, now that I am pregnant with this child I never planned for? For example, maybe you just got, you just gave birth last year. And this year, a few months later, maybe two months later, three months later, you find yourself being pregnant again. Or other issues that has to surround it. You know, it might not be welcoming. So what do we do in that situation? So that is the main reason for this program. And there are many reasons for unwanted pregnancy. So we're going to be looking at it this evening before we lock in into the system and all those, uh, those solutions. What do we do when we find ourselves in some situation? And number one thing I wrote here is that what? Okay, number one I wrote here is that what? It was not planned for. How do we do it? Deal with an unwanted pregnancy. Number one, yes, it was not planned for. So please ladies out there yes it was not planned for but i uh say it this way that will i make you to understand that though it was not planned for but can you see it another way that though you didn't plan for it but god has a plan for that child there is no child to us it might be a mistake but before god it is not a mistake because god is not the author of conscience it's not the author of mistake you didn't plan for it, but God has planned for it. So that child, it is not planned for, but God has, because it's, you know, it was, it was planned for by God. God has a great future for that child. God has a great destiny for that child. What am I saying is, I have seen children most of the time that were not planned for. They became the greatest in the society. It was in that same family that they were unwanted initially. Later on, that family lived to celebrate them. Like mine is an example. Like you saw these two, two, two beautiful guests, you know, sitting by my side. I will I, you know, be happy to tell you this evening, this is a product of what my husband and I never planned for. In fact, those of you that know so very well, you know that I'm not lying. I will have to voice to the glory of God for you to know that we never really, we didn't really plan for it. Our last word, you know, Rema, and the gap between Rema and this, our first girl, this beautiful girl here, treasure is it was eight years old eight years sorry eight years different eight years different no we have wrapped up having children 
the treasure came when we revealed plan for her. And you ask me then whether it was easy or my It was not easy at all. It was not easy at all because it was what I least expected in, 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 in my life at the time she came. But thank God for the encouragement and for, 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 for people and all the encouragement from God and everything. So, though she was not planned for bit, I you know when she came, I was like confused. I didn't know what to do. But a true encouragement, as I, as I told you, and you know, looking onto God and everything, God began to make me to see it from another direction, which has come to pass to you. Don't see things the way they are now. Don't see that child as an obstruction. Don't see that child as one that has come to wreck your future. But see that child as a king or a queen. Why do I say a king or a queen? If he happens to be a, a male in your womb now, tell him as a king. And if she happens to be a female, see her as a queen. Why those words king or queen? Because king or queen, they are treated special. That is one of the reasons we gave her treasure. They are treated special. They are not like every other person in society. So, Maha you know, will uh, be happy to tell you that that one you say you have not planned for me, you, you, can you even, you know, like, I'm not saying be selfish as a parent. Can you even, like, give her special attention more than the one you think you planned for? You know, why am I saying So that it will boost your, your courage. Your courage. Because if you always have that mindset, if with that pregnancy, I had never planned for her. Now, that child is already facing rejection from the womb. And that is why some children are suffering from today. And if you grow up under that circle, you understand what I'm talking about. Some people grew up in a family whereby as they grew up, they made them to know that you came into the family unwanted, unplanned for. And they live to, without, you know, without pain. And But it ought not to be. And wish we are how to correct. So please, every child should be given the same opportunity to live. God bless you in Jesus' name. So another reason, you know, why we know what they talk about on you know, unwanted pregnancy is that the reason some people might say that, you know, let me get rid of it is that I don't have enough finance. I don't have enough finance, you know, at my disposal to cater for this child. You ask me the question, you know, taking care of children or babies from the womb, does it cost finance? Of course it does. Of course it does. And you know, right from the time of pregnancy, and it has to do with each woman, each woman differs. Some they are sick partially or throughout the period, some they are not, some throw up in the morning, one you know, symptoms of pregnancy or the other, you know, body varies. So some some might need medical attention than others. But would that not be the reason and say, because I, I, I don't think I have enough uh, finance at my disposal, let me opt for abortion? No, 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 no. I tell you, children, they are the way, a way God has so, you know, do it in a way that they attract favor. They attract favor. Again, I'm speaking out of my own experience. Please get me, I'm not trying to generalize my own experience. No, I'm just trying to give tips to encourage somebody there. There's a way they, you know, they are possible. It's the only way we are walking the path of God. Since we already know that God is, a, you know, a option. You know, what we're talking about, about you know, let's get this clear here. Do you know that immediately a woman and a man comes together and, you know, or they come together, they, 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 the part of the man comes to part of the woman and immediately they come together, a life has come into existence. Except if the two didn't con come in, in contact. No, I'm just speaking, you know, in grammatic expression for those that are mature because of kids that are here. You know, maybe they, except if they don't, if they didn't in contact. But if the part of the woman, you know, the hair come in contact with the other part of the woman, immediately a, a child has come into existence. Their life has started. So no matter what we are trying to get rid of, some say that I, I don't I, I take drugs, or some will say no, I just drink, you know, something. Uh, so as a result of that, I don't think I have done money through anything wrong. No, it's like you that have done that, it's also as somebody that got that went to the hospital or wherever to you no know, don't get rid of that child that is six months old in the womb, three months old in, in the womb. Getting rid of a child at this you no know, two days old or a day old. The same thing applies to so getting rid of a child that is six months old, three months old, whatsoever. So it is not the advisable thing that we talk to do. So as I was saying earlier on, allow that child to live. You might not know how you will stay to, but I'm here to encourage you. You definitely will. You will. 
you with God on your side. You know, uh, looking back is that, for example, is that the money my husband and I spent for these two kids that we are not planned for, there's nothing to be compared to the one we spent for the one we said we were planned for. That's, we spent more for the one we planned for from these two ones we didn't plan for. Because God already knew that there will be a way have, they will be cared for. So please, the same encouragement I bring to you. Be encouraged, you can. You can. One way or the other, the finance will come. God will cause you to find favor. And the same grace I've come to release upon you today, grace will find favor in the name of Jesus. You will find favor in the sight of men and the sight of God in Jesus' name. And so because of time, I'm just trying to, you know, rush the point. Please forgive me. Another point I have here is that too. Some people say, I don't have the time. I don't have the time to cut her for a, a for, you know, that's a, for a young baby now. Nah? You know, the baby being young, being in the womb, uh, during that nine uh, months, I have already plans, things I need to do. Maybe you are in school, maybe you are to, you know, take up a new career, maybe also business or whatever thing is. I say, no, 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 this is not, my, in, in, not in my agenda, not uh, at all, not pregnancy. Please, my encouragement to you is that leave it. Because why? Though you might not have the time, yes, pregnancy consumes time because at times you are weak and many other times you don't, you are, you, you are no longer yourself to do what you ought to do at on, uh, uh, ordinary day whereby you are not pregnant. But then, do you know that that time of pregnancy in your life is just a phase? And what is a phase is that a time in, in a time in, you know that comes for it, it, it lasts for a while and will come to pass. It doesn't last forever, it's just like seasons. Like where, where we are now in Italy, you know, we have moved from uh, moving from winter to summer. You see, any moment from now we are in summer. You see, and when we are in summer, after a while we move to winter. You see, it is seasons, and when well, something about saying that they come and go. So that time your life is just pregnancy is just a phase. So we you just got to you know pick up courage and say I can do this. Tell yourself that you can. People might have pardoned you, people might give you an okay. And you see, within, within time, you having that child. And I tell you, having the child in your hands is so interesting. It's so amazing. You will love that child when you finally have that child on your hands. I know there are some that doesn't still care. Go and drop it by the wayside and order. That the world we are here to encourage and to say, no, let that not be your decision at all. And so, the next point, remember I said, I'm just trying to rush the point please forgive me for that because of time the next point i have here is that you know what will people say and this is really interesting what will people say and these are the many you know the most reason why most people do what they are not supposed to do to that unwanted pregnancy what will people say in the sense that you know i'm young i'm still in school if my parents got to know i'm pregnant i am dead or you know i uh, i'm not yet married and if I, I got pregnant out of wedlock, it's something is. Or I just have baby and that baby is just young and to carry another pre pregnancy is something that what will people say? Please let me tell you, let them talk. People will always say, the greatest mistake we can make concerning our life is when we allow people talk to start controlling our lives. Whether you are leave, allow that pregnancy to leave, they will talk. If you don't, they got to know that, look at what you are, you get rid of they will talk. So take a decision and take your stand and say whether good or bad, uh, this is my life. I choose to run it the way I want to and the way God will help me to. to find what is more interesting and you know, uh, uh, important here is that I am doing the right thing. So let them say. So I will ask you a question here. You that is so conscious of what people say, they will mock at you, they will laugh at you, they will nickname you. Is that what will those same people say when at the end of the day you get rid of that child now? At the end of the day, later on in, in your life, you are not able to have children again. Because we vary with differences in life. Who can tell maybe? For, for example, now you are just destined to have a child, or have a destined to have a, a child for life. Or maybe we are not destined like that. Maybe through one reason or the other, I cannot be seen. But you have seen you want. This is what I'm trying to say. You are, we have seen issues whereby some people that not that they went for abortion or anything, they just got pregnant. And not that they, they even got married as virgin. And it was only one child they were able to have throughout their life. They tried and tried and after having one, they tried and tried. No way. So you see, if that lady had maybe got pregnant with her child initially, maybe before a wedlock. 
and permitted that child. You see, at the end of the day, she ends up not having nothing. So we are, what we are talking about, I have seen two life stories. I don't have the time. And those of you that don't worry, maybe some of you have, you know, a, a two life examples like that. So please, we have to be very, very careful. Because this, look at this, my beautiful, you know, angels at my right and my left. Don't you love what you are seeing? These were the ones. I decided to bring them to the studio to make this video real before you. These were the ones we never planned for. This was the first time we never planned. She came. Amazon and I were like pissed off. Whoa, what do we do? do? But we said, okay, let's take the boost by the moment. And when we, we thought we had, you know, done with her, after a while, after, you know, I think in the period of two years or so, she came on board also, possible came on board. And that was another reason we gave her possible. Because, you know, I haven't got pregnant with her with caught inside of me, inside my womb. And the doctor said it's not possible, but she said that it's not possible with court. But I got pregnant, so that's one of the reasons we gave her possible. But seeing her now, she's not lovely. And she's somebody, she's a child where back if she's not at home, you feel her half sense. She's just an, it's, you know, an amazing child. Even at school, she's ten different. Because she's so lively, feel, full of life and everything. So, Pastor, can you say hi? Hi. <laughs> you see her to prove what I'm saying. So, that is it. So, that child in your womb now, tomorrow can become the next, oh no, next president of the nation you are in. Who oh no, who oh knows, can be the greatest daughter in, in, in the, you know, year on earth later on. Can be the, 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 you know, the best pastor. Can be whosoever. The greatest lawyer, whoever is being sought after, or in any field in life. So we don't, we cannot per se. So please let's look into the decision we are about taking. No, yeah, understand that it doesn't have to do with you alone. You know. It has to do with somebody as you are carrying inside of you, and you have got no to say to that what is inside of you. It is God that has a purpose for that life. And so to wrap up today's you know our family matters i will ask them questions before we say to a final goodbye to you all there uh, so i'm going to be asking you this question okay treasure if i say i want to kill you now i say mommy i want to kill you will you allow me to kill you no and why I want to see my family and my friends. Okay, she said no. Why? Because she wants to see her family and her friends. So because of that, you would love to live, to live your life. Yes. Okay. Are you enjoying your life now? Yes. You love your family. Yes. Okay. You love daddy and mommy. Yes. Joshua and Rema. Yes. Okay. And that's good. So also to my left side. Okay. Also, if I say I want to kill you, we am allow mommy to kill you. No. And why? Why I want to see my friends. Okay, want to see your friends. Okay. Do you like your life? Yes. Okay, do you uh, love mommy and daddy? Yes. Okay, so you want to live? Yes. Yeah. You don't want to die? No. Okay. So you see the harassment. That is how, please, family out there, that is how that baby in that world is showing me to live. I say, mommy, give me opportunity to live. Allow me to live my life. Just as grandma has allowed you to live. You have heard the voice of these children. That the baby in the womb is crying also. Please, as a mother, can you hear the voice of that child? As a father to be, can you hear the voice of that child? I have seen people that they lived their child. You know, when they were much more, they got pregnant and uh, through the courage and everything, they escaped to leave that child. Today, they are glad they have those children. They are glad they have those children. I have seen situations where the mother is standing, the daughter is standing. You can actually differentiate. Is it that even, even among men, the son is standing, the father is standing. And I have seen some are living in regret. I said, ah, I got pregnant when I was 18. My first one was when I was 18, when I was 15. But, you know, I was so bent to, to, to get rid of it. Or my parents stood and forced me to get rid of it. And say, today I live in regret. So please, it is not always the best to live a life of regret. So thank you very much. God bless you. Thank you for being part of today's family matter. Okay, before. So uh, to wrap up today's uh, edition of family matters. So top and possible, what would you like to tell daddy and mommy heart there? To not kill any to, baby. To not kill any baby, Abby? Yes. yes. Okay, go ahead. 
and please let them to live their life. Okay, please, they should let them live their life and they should not kill any babies. Okay, so can you say a final goodbye? Bye. Say thank you for watching. Thank you for watching. Okay, thank you very much. Our family out there, it has been a nice time. Please endeavor to comment, leave your comments in the comment section and also give our video thumbs up and in case you are not subscribed, be part of this uh, family by hitting the subscription uh, button and endeavor to share this video also. Thank you. So we will come across your way again next week Saturday. Remain blessed and also please we'll convert your prayers. I remain your host, Reverend Dorothy Abiyuwa. I will be you. Bye.